All right, it's Jorge Cruz. Welcome back to the Belly Fat Cure Challenge here exclusively at YouTube. I'm thrilled you're here with me. If you've been watching these back to back, which I hope you have, because there's nothing better than immersion and repetition, because that is how we change our lives. You've probably hopefully learned not only that sugar and carbs are what cause us and trigger us to increase our insulin, unlock in belly fat, keep it and never get rid of it, and that if you're counting calories, hopefully by now, you're thinking otherwise, because I'll tell you, it will lead to the same outcome of failure. You will not lose the weight. Because if you eat 100 calories of sugar and carbs versus 100 calories of good lean protein or good fats, your body does not process it the same. It does not. The science is there and it is proven. So I would really get you to continue to think that. But I'm here for a reason, because in class four, I gotta show you something. We've talked the talk. Now it's the time to do some action, and this is something you can do right now, because hopefully at home you have a tape measure. Now I've got a video I did not that long ago, but it feels like it was a couple years ago, it was before Dr. Oz had his TV show. You'll see my hair a little longer, it's a, little, it's a vintage video of Jorge Cruz and Dr. Oz, but it's one of my most popular videos, and I'm thrilled that Dr. Oz and I are, have maintained a friendship for years now, and he is truly one of the forces for good, and I'll just give a shout out to him, hey Dr. Oz, and if you're not watching Dr. Oz's show, you gotta watch it, because he is truly America's doctor. But I got a little video with him and I shot at his office in New York City where he's going to measure my waist and we're going to talk about the ideal way to do that and all the tricks that come to it because you don't need to get it on a scale anymore. You may think, Corey, you're telling me not to count calories and now you're telling me to get rid of my scale? Yeah, you can. I mean, well, obviously that's a great way to measure your success. You can still do that once a week maybe, but you can measure your waist daily if you want. It's a great tool and you got to know if you're a woman, the number, and if you're a man, the number, and you got to know how to do it. So, let's watch this video. Hey guys, it's Jorge Cruz, and I'm here with my good friend, Dr. Oz, and uh, we're going to talk about belly fat. As you guys know, I'm a big uh, advocate to being aware of what that does to our health and how it can be dangerous to our health, and I thought, who better than talk to the man, the doctor, who really is on the forefront of bringing this awareness originally a couple of years ago with Oprah, right? It was. Well, we, you know, I remember taking the, the organs to the show the first day, right? and uh, we were showing all the different organs. The one that caught a lot of attention, which you wouldn't think would, yeah. was this omental fat. Sounds like momentum, right? right? Omentum without the M. And now, this is part of the belly fat, right? It is. This, this fat is not fat you can pinch. If you can yeah. pinch it, it's not omentum fat. Right. This fat is very special. It's way inside of you, under the muscles of your belly. So those of you who worry about your fat thighs, that'll cost you a couple days, but that's not what a diet right. works. Because not all fat's the same, and that's what I've told people, I'm sure with my clients, and that visceral fat or belly fat? Yeah. That belly so tell us why that's so dangerous. Well, the belly fat was historically very important for humans. Our ancestors would feast in times of uh, when we had food, and they'd store that fat in different places, but especially the belly fat, the visceral fat was important because we had ready access to it. Right. So when famine would hit, we could quickly take that fat, it would go through the portal vein, the big vein that feeds the liver, and it would give the liver nutrients that it needed. But here's the problem. In those days, to go hunting, you spend the whole day. Today, yeah. to go hunting, is like the milk carton out of the way. Yeah, it takes right. 10 minutes, right. so, <laughs> 5 minutes. Uh, so we have so much visceral fat accumulated, it does three things. It poisons the liver wow. by sh shunting chemicals up through the portal vein. That's the big vein, the port, the door. And why is the liver so important? Because the liver reconfigures all of the chemicals that come into the body and resends them to L parts of the, all the different extremities, outer reaches of the body. So if your liver is making bad cholesterol because it's been poisoned. Heart disease, right? More heart disease. If, if the liver is making inflammatory chemicals, uh, th then it'll cause issues as well. If the liver is so irritated that it won't listen to insulin anymore, you get diabetes. Diabetes, type 2 diabetes, right? right? In fact, omentum not only does it poison the liver, but it blocks muscle from using sugar. So, it, and, and from responding to insulin. So you end up, even though you have normal insulin levels, you become right. a diabetic. And finally, that omental fat, it's so big and bulky in there, Jorge, yeah, yeah. that it squeezes on your kidneys. Yeah. And because it squeezes on the kidneys, it, it kidneys, of course, regulate your blood pressure. Your kidneys misperceive what's going on and they make your blood pressure go up. So guess what? A belly fat gives you high blood pressure, high blood sugar, and high blood cholesterol. Those three things together and, are and, called and the metabolic syndrome. Number one cause of heart attacks, number one cause of strokes, causes impotence, wrinkles, I mean, there's nothing good about this. And a good portion of us, especially as we hit our fourth and fifth decades of life, start to get that extra belly fat. So what's the right amount? So yeah. I don't ask people their weight, I don't ask them their BMI. Right. You can't I love what you do ask them, right? the measurement, right? The waist So up. tell them, we gotta listen, because this is your homework assignment right here, right from the doctor, doctor's orders, right. get a tape measure out, right? Simple to do, you take the tape measure, put it around your belly button, right? So your belly button, just over the hips, yeah, right? right measure this I, I can get the model, right? So we measure right across here, Let's see if I make the test, guys, right? Okay, now, let's pull tight, suck in, 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 suck in. Show off. He's 29 and a half inches. Now, is that too much, too little? Have a seat. Yeah, yeah. It all depends on your height. Right. Because your belly 
size, that waist circumference has got to be one half your height. So how tall are you? Uh, six one. Okay, six happens to be my height, so I know yeah. the number already. Yeah, but yeah. for everybody else, six times twelve, right? Twelve inches in a foot. Six times twelve is seventy-two inches. Plus one inch is seventy-three inches divided in half is thirty-six and a half inches. Boom. So if your belly circumference measured 36 and a half inches or more, yeah. you'd have too much belly fat. You can be a lot less, doesn't hurt you. Right. But less the better in many cases. But you never want to be more than 36 and a half. And for the women out there, don't trust the belt size of the guy. Because men over yeah. the age of 40 will never buy a new belt size. Did you hear that, ladies? Yeah, what they do is they slide the belt. <laughs> right, right. I got my belt here and it just keeps going down. Right. right. And so right. you can't tell with the belt size anymore. Right. Uh, this measuring tape can be life saving for that yeah. reason. Yep. So, and for ladies, the general rule, I believe you say in your books, is 32 most and a half. half. For most, if we had to generalize. Right. If we had to generalize, 32 and a half inches or less is ideal for belly fat. For men, it's 37 inches and less. Uh, but again, the best way to do it is your height, and that works for kids too. Kids, women, men, same formula, and it works for everybody. And by the way, I didn't make this stuff up. All yeah. the things we talk about in the U books are, are, are all about things that doctors have found. All we're trying to do is make it a little easier for everyone to appreciate it. Yeah. So you guys heard it there. Belly fat is dangerous. I mean, without question, it can hurt your life, your life, quali your quality of your life, and the quantity of your life. It will strip, on average, more than 15 years off your life if you wow. got a lot of belly fat. In fact, it's the single most obvious thing we can do that reverses chronic illness in this country. And, and when we look at longevity years, yeah. issues, now I'm not I tell you to do calorie restriction, which means eating about 15 to 20 percent less than you normally right. want to. I'm not going that extreme. No, no, no. But on average, people who are thin will live longer. And on average, you're much better off making sure that belly fat number is below the number that we mentioned, one half of your height. Right. That's, you heard it right here, guys. You've got to take action on this. And if there's anyone out there like teetering and they're saying, ah, oh, what's the last thing we can tell them to get them to realize that this is critical? What we would you say? We use all kinds of medications to treat diabetes, hypertension, high cholesterol. None of them, none of them are as good as you doing it alone. We only give you these medications to paint over the cracks yeah. in the foundation of your health. But only you, only you, that's why we call them the U-Books, yes. only you uh, can actually make an impact on this. Uh, we're just there to play backup. So just make that decision, guys, and you can do it. And you heard it right here. Hopefully these words are going to inspire you to continue to take action to get that belly fat down. Thanks, buddy. Take care. We'll pound it, <laughs> and we'll pound it. Take care. All right, take good care. Thanks, guys. So pretty powerful video. Dr. Oz is truly the best. And I'll tell you, the solution from my perspective is about carb swapping. It's simple. Hopefully you've been going to my site, you've already joined my email club. But if you haven't, and if you're at this video out of sequence, that's okay. But I'll invite you right now. Check out my videos at JorgeCruz.com. Be a part of my email club. The first one's on the homepage. You can totally get it for free. Don't even give me your email. But if you want to be a part of my world and part of this revolution, please join it there at hoycruise.com and you're going to get more videos on carb swapping so you learn how to do this anytime, any place, whether it's at home or fast food restaurant or just at the grocery store. But it's as simple as just knowing what to swap out. And it's not a calorie swap, guys. It's a carb swap. You've got to know which carbs are the right ones, the smart ones, and which ones are the belly bad ones. All right? So please do that. And please, I want your video responses to Dr. Oz's video with me here right here at YouTube. Tell us what you think and please share this video. Share it out, send it out to your friends, your family, embed it into your blogs, put it on YouTube, get the movement out there because I can't do this alone and I need your help and support and this means the world to me because our world needs it. All right, I hope you agree. All right, I'll talk to you soon in the next class. Take care. Come on, come on.